Hey everyone, I'm Bernhard and I'm very proud to announce the immediate release of Rock Page Builder, a commercial module that I've been building for three years now. It has many great features that I want to show you today, so let's jump right in. So before I show you all the great features of Rock Page Builder, let me quickly give you a short explanation about why I built Rock Page Builder. The problem that I had with many page builders out there is that they allow the user by far too much options to define every single piece of the markup and every single piece of the design. Like they give you the uh, ability to choose margins, paddings, colors and all that. I didn't want it. I wanted to control the markup. I wanted to control the design, but I just wanted to give the user a little bit more flexibility than we get by default by process wire. So by default in process wire, we have templates and we can create different templates and add different fields to those templates. But sometimes the clients want wants just a little detail different than in another template. Then maybe you create another template and then the client comes again and wants something different again. Then you maybe create another template that is just a little bit different than the first one or the second one. And then you end up with lots of templates for lots of different use cases and the client has to choose and doesn't know which one to choose uh, when he creates a new page and still in the end it's too inflexible and that's where rock page builder comes in so you might think well for that use case we have a repeater matrix already yep that's true but rock page builder is so much more than repeater matrix and now i will show you why here we have a page that is built uh, just to demonstrate rock page builder you can visit that page on pagebuilder.baumrock.com and you can instantly try editing it, uh, it yourself. You don't need to sign up, you don't need to give your email address, just hit edit and you are logged in and you can try the editing experience yourself. So a huge difference to repeat the matrix is that in Rock Page Builder you edit the website most of the time in the front end and this is a game changer for your clients because your clients don't have to go to the back end of your page. Uh, remember the URL, like uh, what was it called? Okay, CMS maybe. Then uh, where is the page that I wanted to edit? Um, it was the front page. Okay, click edit. Then where is the text that I wanted to edit? Um, maybe it was in this block. Yes, ah, here. This great demo page has two pages. And then I need to save. Ah, I forgot. I need to click save and view or I have to click view. So this experience gets a lot better if you use front-end editing. With front-end editing, you just go to the tab to the text that you want to change, this great demo, you double click, rem you remove that word and then you save it and that's it. Um, or you can change a headline like this. Check it out now. And the client will instantly see how it looks like, which made, makes a huge difference. Um, now, you might think front-end editing is not something new and it's um, not built by me or built into the Rock Page Builder module, but the Rock Page Builder module uses it extremely clever. And I think there is a reason why nobody seems to be using front-end editing in ProcessWire, because there are some small but very important steps missing. So for example, what works great for text inputs, as I showed you, um, does not work great for more complex things like uh, image galleries. So if we change back to the advanced demo, we have an image gallery here. And um, front-end editing in ProcessWire makes that a little bit hard to do. But with Rock Page Builder, you can hover over every block and then you simply click on edit block and then you can change, for example, the order of the images. Click save, Rock Page Builder will instantly reload the page and your clients will see uh, the changes instantly. So the next feature is quite new and it will literally blow your mind. Let's say we wanted to move that block above this one and what you can do in Rock Page Builder is you can just take it move it up there and that's it. Or maybe we want to move that block on top here, just drag it on top and that's it. 
but that does not only work with the parent block you can even do nested sorting like here in this one we have uh, three features maybe we want to take this one with the emoticon and move it at the bottom you just drag and drop and everything is there The next thing I want to show you is how easy it is to create a new block. So for that we go to the backend, so we edit the page and here right after your uh, block buttons you have the plus if you are logged in a super user of course. Then you click on that plus and let's call the block demo and we hit OK. And here we have the new block, the demo block and we can already use it. It has just a headline right now and the demo setting. So what Rock Page Builder does in the background is it creates two fields. So if you look at site templates, Rock Page Builder blocks, we have the demo folder here. And then we have two new fields, uh, two new files. The demo file, that's the PHP file that is created by Rock Page, Rock Page Builder that has all the migrations that are necessary to create the templates and uh, fields for the block. Because every block in Rock Page Builder is uh, has its own template and is actually a process wire page. So um, you have the PHP file that handles all the business logic and then you have the demo.view.php file which um, takes all the markup for that block. So we can uh, input something here like hello world and then move that to the very first position and save and view to see what it looks like and now we have that field um, sorry we have that block uh, on the page and we can already uh, sort all the elements um, and we can edit it like this change the setting and save it and as it states here markup for this block comes from um, this um, this file so we can edit this uh, markup quickly um, so for example we can um, display the block title here save it, then we get hello world, which is actually the content of this field, because this is the title field, as you can see here. Um, you can add other fields to that block, like this, uh, you go to the back end, then here we have the hello world block, and then here you can change fields. So for example, we could just add the email field here, save that, have a look at the front end, so we have hello world here, then you have some shortcuts here, if you click on that icon, on that code icon, then it will instantly open that file in VS Code if you set up your IDE correctly and set up the paths, so if I click here, I come to the markup of this uh, block and now I can not only display the block title but also maybe the block email. If I save that um, we don't get any content here because we didn't enter anything. foo at bar.com Now we get the email here, but it is not uh, front-end edit editable right now. So if you double-click on that um, email address, it will open the modal pop-up and you can edit it here. But we can make that front-end editable, both fields actually, just by using uh, the method call instead of the property call. And if we save that, we get the reload and then we can front-end edit our email address.
save and hello world this is great nice so if you like what i showed you in this video be sure to check out the demo at pagebuilder.baumrock.com um, i've also just relaunched my new website at baumrock.com where you can find all the modules and um, also have uh, all the docs available for all the modules i really put a lot of effort into making great docs um, and also polishing up the installation process and all that so that you get a very smooth experience let me know in the comments what you think about the module and until then, happy coding and see you in the next video.